Recording in progress. Hi everyone, let's begin. Empirical rule. What do you mean by empirical rule? What is the meaning of um, mean minus standard deviation 1, mean minus 2 standard deviation and mean minus 3 standard deviation. What is the meaning of this? What do you mean by 68% of the data? What do you mean by 95% of the data? What do you mean by 99.7% of the data? So before starting this, we I just want to explain you what do you mean by first of all standard deviation because you can see this is the normal standard normal bell shape curve and at this point where is the mu is written here you can see I'm just taking my pan you can see this is the point where it is on this point mean equal to mode mean equal to median median equal to mode all three things are equal to each other at this point and when we, we are talking about towards the right side this mean plus one standard deviation then after this mean plus two standard deviation and after this mean plus 3 standard deviation and towards the left side mean minus standard deviation mean minus 2 standard deviation mean minus 3 standard deviation but before this i just want to tell you what do you mean by standard deviation then we come to the 68 percent 95 percent and 99.7 percent so first of all i i just want to discuss with you what do you mean by standard deviation and how we are going to calculate standard deviation Standard deviation is a statistic that measures the dispersion of a data set relative to its mean and is calculated as the square root of the variance. The standard deviation is calculated as the square root of variance by determining each data point deviation relative to the mean. So, for example, we can see here measures the spread of the data about the mean value. It is useful is comprising, is sorry, comparing sets of data which may have the same mean but a different range like for example the mean of the following these are the two sets you can see here this is the one set there is the one set and that would be that is the another set now you can see both these data set have same mean but spread you can see in this second set minimum value is 2 and highest value is 30 but in this data set, you can see minimum value is 14 and highest is 16. So you can see here what is the range difference, but still mean is same. That is known as standard deviation, dispersion of a series. And commonly denoted by the symbol, this one is the known as sigma. Standard deviation is defined as the square root of the average of squares of deviations with when such deviation for the values of individual items in a series are obtained from the arithmetic average it is like this is the you can see formula of this particular standard deviation as the this one is the sigma summation sign x minus x bar whole square divided by n n means total number of the sample so now i have taken one very simple example let's say in my class 10 students in uh, 10 students in a class i have taken marks of 10 students i just want to calculate standard deviation so what is happening these are the marks 80 90 96 80 these are the 10 students marks so i just want to know what is the standard deviation of these marks so simply what i will do i will simply calculate mean of all these marks so that means summation of these marks is 860 divided by 10 because these are the 10 students so 86 is our x bar value so now one by one we will see the distance from each marks of these mean marks so that is why 80 minus 86 minus 6 90 minus 86 4 96 minus 86 10 80 minus 86 minus 6 94 minus 86 8 so on so now we will do the whole square of these values so 6 6 are 36 4 4 are 16 and so on so now the you can see here 
the summation of this x minus x bar whole square is 520. So what we have to do in the formula, what we will put these values 520 and divide it by 10. And now standard deviation is 7.2, 7.21. 7.21. So, this is the standard deviation how we are going to calculate. Now, what we have to do, let's say now I'm going to start this particular curve. You can see here, I had already explained you critical values of Z and the levels of confidence. You can see at the 0.99, that would be alpha by 2.005. Right, and this is our the to, to table value 2.576.98.2.326.95.1.96.90.1.645.801.282. But how what is this defining 68% of data, 95% of data, 99.7% of data? So in this image, zero would be the mean and zero standard deviation from the mean. You can see this is the point. We are talking about this particular point. One would be one standard deviation from the mean. You can see one, one standard deviation from the mean. That is the towards this side and towards that side. For this specific distribution, 68% of all data will be within one standard deviation. But we can talk about the height of the curve represents how common that value is on the distribution. Most points fall in the middle. This is the one example. For example, IQ has been designed to have a mean of 100 and a standard deviation close to 50. Therefore, if your IQ is anywhere from 85 to 150, obviously these are the values plus and minus 200 because 15 is our standard deviation. So, first of all, we will add 100 plus 15. So, what would be the value? That would be 115. So, 115 would be towards the this side. When 100 minus we can take it 100 minus again 15 and now value is 85 and 85 would be towards the this side so this this is the that would be fall so that means we can say 68 percent of all the data within this one standard deviation so here is you would be considered within one standard deviation of the mean 130 iq would be two standard deviation above the mean which is commonly considered gifted value 70 iq would be two standard deviation below the mean below which could cause concern about the mental retardation here is you can see i had explained here empirical value we can call it this 68 95 99.7 rule also we can call it empirical rule also and shorten used to remember the percentage of the values that lie within an interval estimates in a normal distribution 68%, 95%, 99.7% of the values lie within 1, 2 and 3 standard deviation. So here is we can say 68%, uh, 95% and 99.7% of the values lie within 1, 2 and 3 standard deviation that is 1 standard deviation, 2 and 3. Here is, you can see, I have taken, that was the example. So many IQ tests, how we have to represent on this curve. Mu means that is the mean, 100. Standard deviation, 15. So that is standard deviation either above or below. The mean is IQ scores from 85 to 100, 115. You can see here, 85 to 115. And this means 68% of the population will have IQ scores between 85 to 115. But when we talk about the two standard deviations, 70 to 130, you can see 70 and here is 130. And 95% of the population will have IQ scores within the two standard deviation of the mean. And the same way, we can say 55 and 145, right? So we can say, here is 99% population, right? That is that is falling in between 55 to 145. So in that way, we would understand what is the meaning of 1 sigma, 2 sigma, and 3 sigma. 
So that means 68.2. And when we can divide, so half of the 68.2, 34.1 left side, 34.1 towards the right side. And additional 90, here is you can see 95.4 percent. So 13.6 percent addition in addition to this, and 13.6 percent in addition to this 34.1. 99.7 here is we can see 2.1 percent in addition to both these things and 2.1 percent in addition to both these things. So in that way this one sigma, two sigma and three sigma is working. Thank you. I hope this concept is clear. Thank you.